Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today we're going to take a look at the iGain, iGagain, not quite sure how it's pronounced, digital caliper. Now I just got this today. As you can see, it hasn't even been opened yet, so we're going to open this up, check it out, and uh, I've got a ruler here. We're going to test it, you know, see how accurate it is, and look at the build quality and all that. So let's just get into this and open it up. Now, the person that shipped this seems to have done a good job packaging it. At least they used bubble wrap, which is a good thing. There's my packing slip. And I got this from Anytime Tools. They sell on eBay. And these cost um, around $25, give or take a couple of dollars, depending on where you buy them. They, you can get these eBay on Positive Amazon. You look online. You're going to find these out there. Now, I did some research before I ordered this, and for the price that these are, these are supposed to be actually pretty accurate and really good. I didn't need, you know, a couple hundred dollar digital caliper. I just ordered this because I got a 3D printer coming, and I need to measure some components and stuff, LCD screens, stuff to make some custom enclosures. But this um, should do the job, I'm hoping. So. All right, all comes in this little box. Um, specifications, range zero to six inches, accuracy 0 0.001, repeatability 0 0.0005, battery is a three volt CR2032, and it's included. And I do believe I have some of them. Another nice feature about this, it will show a fraction. You can show decimal points or fractions so, all right. Well, the case ain't too bad. I mean, it's going to keep it safe. Um, I wouldn't want to try running it over with the vehicle. Let's see here. Oh, it opens. Okay, you just push on it. Open it up. All right, well, there's the battery. And I know I have plenty of these, my garage door remote and a few other things I have used these. So I have plenty of spares on hand at all times. Now, oh, there's a calibration certificate. All right, well, that's a good thing to see. That means, I mean, even though this isn't super expensive, they actually take the time to make sure it works right. I like that. That gained them points right there. Instructions, I'm sure it's not very much because there isn't really a whole lot you need to know. Um, it just shows how to put the battery in. And it has some technical data depending which model you've got. Like I said, there's not really a lot you need to know instructions for on these. If you don't know how to use it, um, there's probably no reason you should have ordered it. So I'm going to put the instructions this back in the boxes. I always keep the boxes in case someday in the future maybe I'm upgrading and sell the old one off I can have the boxes. Wow! Now that's got some weight to it. The last one of these I had I got at Northern Tool. Um, they're similar to Harbor Freight. It's the same stuff. It's all stuff from China. And I think I paid like eight dollars, seven or eight dollars. It was plastic and it was just a pile of junk. It accuracy was not there. Wow. This thing, I mean, you feel it. It's got some weight to it. This reminds me a lot. Before that cheap one, I did used to, years back, have, um, whoops, have a more expensive one that worked really good. Pull this out before use. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, pulls and look at that. There's actually two batteries. It comes with one, and that's in it and they give you a spare. You just got to pull that tab out. Which way does that go? Ah, it goes that way. <laughs> Make sure I'm putting it in right. The positive side goes down and it goes in that way. And there we go. Oh, look at that, it turned on. All right. All right, to zero it out, uh, that be that key? Yep, 
one that has zero zeros in it. So we're in millimeters. Well, yeah. it's got a little bit of drag, not a whole lot. Okay, you can loosen it up. This was tightened a little bit. There we go. Now that feels nice and smooth. And I plug it out, I put it back, and it goes to actual zero. That cheap one that I had before this would not do that. Let's try that again. Let's move it back pretty quick. Look at that. Now that's something I'm not recommending going that fast, but look at that. It goes back to zero. I am impressed. I am very impressed so far. All right, on the back, we have, oh, fractions to decimals, a little conversion chart. Um, don't know why you really need that one. Because on here, let's see, what's this button? Okay, that's the on and off is the first one. Then we can change it. There's inches with decimal point. Look at that. I didn't even have to re-zero when I switched. That's nice. Inches, and inches, inches, excuse me, with fractions. Wow. And I think, what was the maximum, the maximum fraction, it'll go to 1 128th. Now that is precise. That is very precise. All right. Well, I've got a ruler here. I've got it on inches, so let's go ahead. And I'm trying to get it lined up at a half an inch. Okay, there's a half right there. And I'm going to put it on the ruler. That is dead on. That is dead on because the ruler, actually, it's engraved a little bit. I'm putting the two points into those grooves and it fits right in. That's a half inch. And then we'll slide it back real quick and look at that. Zero, zero. Oh, wow. I am impressed um, for around $25. If, I, if this thing lasts a year of the, the amount of use, I'm going to be using this actually quite regularly. For $25, I'd be happy if it lasted a year. But from what I told, um, these are good. And this is the Easy Cal. They have some more expensive ones. But if you're on a budget for roughly around $25 in that, this one here I paid exactly... $23.95 I got mine for on eBay from Anytime Parts. So check them out. No, they're not paying me anything. I'm just being nice and giving a shout out to their, uh, their store because I got a good deal from them. And I'm going to be using this quite a bit. So, all right. Um, otherwise, the case is not bad at all. It's got padding. Oh, the bottom soft padding and then the little spot it sits in is a harder padding. Fits in there pretty good. I don't know if, uh, oh, there's a spot here. It's been cut out, but it hasn't been pulled out. That if I go, there we go. That's what I'll use that for. Because I do have more of these batteries, but what I'll do is I'll leave this one in here. So if I'm using it and the battery runs out, goes dead, I don't have to go dig through my drawers. On a scale of 1 to 10, you know what? It's very rare I give 10s out, but the quality of this for the price, the packaging that they put in the container, I mean, it, it was tested at the factory they didn't just you know make this and throw it in a box and ship it out and like well if it don't work you take it back to your store and have fun <laughs> it actually was tested i like that i'm going to put this little cut out with the bag and everything else like i said i keep all the packaging i don't see selling this down the line i don't see it happening even if i did get another one 
Matter of fact, if I got another one, it would probably be their brand. They did have another one that was a little bit uh, longer because this is only a six inch. If I needed to get one that went up to a foot, I would definitely order from them. So highly recommend them. Um, once again, the store I got it from, Anytime Tools, they're on eBay. Um, I'm not being paid to do this for them. So check that out. I give this two thumbs up. Uh, 10 out of 10. So with that, we'll wrap this up. Thanks for joining us here at the Z-Hot. Um, I hope you have a great day.